Okay, everybody, I just wanted to show, show you my latest setup. So here's my Altec 30-year-old water that gave up the ghost. And then I put this little Lincoln here up on top of it because this makes a nice cart. I used the original location of the gas, bought a new hose to hook it up, but uh, this Lincoln water, courtesy of my cousin Paul, thank you Paul, on loan, and it works great. I couldn't expect anything more, but yeah, it looks great. But I thought that was a little bit ironic to put the old Altec, put the old Lincoln on top of it, this one on top is a 130, this is a 250, but you, but I can tell you a 250 or a 250 equivalent Lincoln is not much bigger than this. So you can see how technology has changed through the years. But anyway, let's keep moving on. Well, the little uh, Lincoln uh, SP-130T worked pretty good. Uh, it's a small MIG router, but you know what, folks? It worked well. There it is. It worked real nice on this lighter weight sheet metal. So you can see here I spot welded all the holes I drilled. As you can see here. Had good penetration. I'm pretty comfortable with the wells I got. Uh, as you can see on the back side, we got, as you can see, see the burn marks everywhere there was a spot melt. See that? Burn marks. That means we've got good penetration and we spot welded to the lower piece. Real happy with that. I'm going to blend these welds in and then we keep moving on i think next on the agenda is to uh, do a little bit more weld a spot a few more of these spot welds down here a couple on each side and then hang the doors hang these doors and make sure everything lines up and then get this frame back to mid-year mitch and I'm moving along. Okay, well, I got, as you can see here, the lower window frame, uh, inner and outer, all tack welded in. Uh, got to blend these spot welds in, but no big deal. Uh, I've welded a few more spot welds on each side down here and tacked a little bit of the seam. I'm trying to give this some structure because what I'm going to do is take this H-frame bracing off so I can... Uh, mount the doors and make sure nothing moved there um yeah so i've got to figure out how to suspend this floor a little bit but i can figure that out no big deal so because i have it suspended by that thread all right there if you guys remember from one of my previous videos how we did that 
So anyway, let's uh, let's get moving on this. Got the cross bracing on the door openings out on both sides. Had to grind some welds. I'm gonna leave this brace in. I think I can leave that in. We're gonna find out. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and brace this floor up to the window frame here. Go from here to here with something and go from there. Okay, everybody, I got the doors mounted. Got a little bit of shimming to do still, uh, but things fit up pretty nicely. I got the H-frame out. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the door fit. Again, like I said, I got some adjustments up here. This door, when, when it closes with the trim and stuff on, it kind of raises up a little bit like that. It's gonna look good. Uh, same thing on this side. Got the door on. This one fits up nice. Happy with that. I've got this door mounted also. Fits up pretty good. Of course, I've got some shimming to do, but I'll do that final shim. I just wanted to make sure that I had the bird cage welded correctly. So if you, as you remember, a couple videos ago, I put the windshield in, the doors fit. Uh, again, need some final shimming, and uh, but yeah, looks good. I'm really happy with my repairs and the dimensions of my repairs, so we'll keep moving on. Okay, everybody, I'm out here today. It's been a while since I've worked on this, had some personal things to take care of. Uh, also getting the shop ready, as I told you before, for a 64 Impala two-door convertible. Beautiful car. Um, what I'm doing today is I'm getting this chassis back up from underneath here. I have the birdcage all tack welded. Everything in place, doors fit up nice. So pretty happy with my repairs. All I have to do is the lock pillar repairs, which will not interfere with the integrity of the birdcage. So when I'm doing the repairs, I should say, uh, so yeah, let's get this chassis up from underneath here. Got it back on the rolling dolly. Gonna shim it up and bolt it down, but it's about 98 degrees out here in Ohio today, and it's very warm in the shop here, so I'm gonna go in and take a break. Cool off a little bit. But yep. I'm gonna get this chassis here, this chassis back to mid-year Mitch. Appreciate it, Mitch. I'm gonna take it back Monday. Load it on my trailer and take it back. So, yeah. Uh, I did return the frame, the stock frame, back to Midyear Mitch. And while I was over there, I picked up something I want to show you. Don't know if you guys remember, but this is a TKX five speed. It was in Mitch's Overkill, I believe is the name of it. Maybe less than 100 miles on it. But anyway, I was able to purchase this from Mitch and uh, everything should fit up because it fit up in his C2. I am going with the LT4 
Uh, so hopefully the motor mount locations are in the same spot, but those could be modified too with adjustable plates on the motor. So I'm not concerned too much. Uh, yeah, pretty happy about that. Thank you, Mitch.